Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Break Talos Principle 2, the only series where even Melville thinks things have gone just a little bit too far. So today we're going to be heading up to North 1, which is the first snowy area in the game, and uh, I forgot to actually go there at the end of the last episode, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, and now that we're up here, first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to puzzle number three. So a lot of the puzzles in this area, is, um, in this area have these like clone bots, uh, whatever you want to call them. I just call them bots. And the rules for when you're allowed to hit E on them to take control of them are a little weird sometimes. And uh, we'll get into that in later puzzles. Suffice it to say right now that um, sometimes you got to do some weird things to be able to actually control them when you're like jumping into puzzles over walls. So the first thing we're going to do here is just uh, one of the simplest tricks in the book. You can just jump onto one of them like this and just carry him right over the entrance screen. Just like this. Uh, are you okay? Alright then. So we're just going to take him over here. And there's a cliff face that we can climb up and a walkable ledge right along there. You can see it. That gives us easy access to the top before we have any boxes to work with. I really like how if you're just standing on terrain like this, you can go up crazy angles like this. How does 1k do it? Okay, just a simple jump up here. And there's our ledge. And I don't know why, but it always gets really, really bright right here. Alright, we're just going to come up on top of this and jump down onto this middle beam right here. And from here we have vantage point to connect all the lasers together. There we go. Just like that. Now before we leave this puzzle, we're going to need to grab the platform out of it. This is actually my second time recording this, because the first time it took me so long to try to get the platform out, I just gave up. Uh, this was the first spot I tried, but it is really finicky. But I found a better spot. Just gonna jump on here. We're gonna carry him right over to this corner. And then from here, we just gotta drop down just a little bit. And there we go. Just grab that and pull it out. And we'll come back for puzzle one and two in a little bit, but we're gonna go and do the west side of the island first. We're just going to leave this right on 4's doorstep and go over to the Western Lost Puzzle. Alright, and in here we're going to do pretty much the same trick we did in the first puzzle. Um, kind of the theme of this area is boosting things over uh, barriers like this. So we're just going to use him to let us in. I get a... there we go. We need to bring the box. Alright, so we just take this jammer and we use him to boost it over the top of the barrier here. And we can drop it right in front, which I have to imagine is an oversight. I don't think they have intended for you to do it that way. But even if you did, there'd be no way out normally. But we've got a solution for that too. Just gonna grab that and put it on top and jump on top. I'm gonna walk him right over to this snowy ledge, and from here we can just jump out of the room. And there we go, second puzzle solved. And then before we leave, we're gonna boost both of these items out of the puzzle. Any further insights on the particle clouds, Melville? To be honest with you, Byron. I feel like a caveman trying to study Alright, so we're just going to drop that right there, and then we're going to take our cube and put it outside as well. We're going to leave the jammer here, we will come back for it later on, but for now we're just going to bring this box over to 4 and leave it with that platform. Alright, and we're just going to head on down to 5 next. Oh wait, what am I doing? I can just enter it normally. Okay, 
So now that we're in here, we're going to grab him and grab this box here. And then we're just going to jump right up on top of this T. Let's try to get this box in a better place. All right, that should be good. Yep, there we go. Actually, I'm going to grab this connector out first. I don't remember if we need it later, um, so I'm just going to get it out before we lose any of our boxes. All right, let's try that one more time. Okay. So now that we're up here, we're just going to bring it up, drop it right oop, up on top of the ledge. And this is extremely important. Make sure we don't leave it up here. Just need to drop it right there. Otherwise, we might have to reset the puzzle to get the box back. And if we do that, then we lose everything else we've set up. The collision on this is really weird, so you got to be kind of careful. Yeah, see how much higher I am than it? And then once we're up here, we can just jump in the back. There's three puzzles down. All right, so now that all the barriers are open, Let's take... See, this is what I was talking about. Um, I can't actually control this bot right now because we left the puzzle illegally and then re-entered illegally. So the game doesn't think we're in this puzzle anymore. Ooh. God, she always jump scares me when she's sitting outside the puzzles like that. Looks so creepy just sitting there waiting for you. So all we gotta do to reactivate him is just leave the puzzle, enter the puzzle, and now we can use him again. So we're gonna grab him... Make sure we can get the other bot from here. We're just going to leave it right up on top of this ledge. There we go. Alright, let's go through Melville's dialogue real quick. Alright, so now we can... Oh, missed it, because I didn't sprint. Okay. Now that we're up here, you can see we can take control of them now, because we entered the puzzle illegally. But if we were to leave and enter again, we now can no longer do it. So it's something about leaving and then re-entering a puzzle that breaks the bots. So we're just going to take that connector here and just leave it outside the front door, just in case we do need it later. Oh yeah, can't forget our box. We're just going to bring this up to four. We're amassing quite the pile of junk here, so now we're actually going to do four. And to do that, we're first going to get the box out with the help of one of the bots here. And we're just going to hold it... Oop, I don't think I'm far enough over. I'll leave it right here. And we're just going to hold it right there and go to our next bot. We're going to run out the back side up on top of this ledge. There we go. We're just going to take that and leave it up front. Well, next, we just need to get two of the bots out. And we can do that the same way we've been getting pretty much everything else out of the puzzle so far. Just going to take control of him, bring him over, and jump out. Now, you see, we can still control the bots because the game doesn't think we've actually left the puzzle yet. Um, that's going to be a very important uh, detail. So now that we've got one bot out, we're just going to take control and get another bot out. We can do that just by jumping right up on this ledge. So that we can get up on the platform without using any cubes. There we go. Now, as long as we don't enter any other puzzles, we can always control these bots, even though we're not actually in the puzzle that they came from. So we're just going to grab a platform and start stacking. Uh, where's my other one? Right there. So there's cube number one. Cube number two. And number three, and then we're just going to jump on top. And this looks utterly ridiculous as we carry our giant stack around. We're just going to bring it right over here to the side. 
we're gonna cheese the puzzle. And there we go. Four done. And we're just gonna bring these bots. Okay, yeah, see, since we uh, properly left number four, it deactivated this robot, so we can't jump to him. So all we gotta do to fix that is to not leave it properly. So we're gonna leave this right here. Get up out, get up on top again. If I can get up into the corner, that is. Hmm. It's being especially difficult. There we go. Just gotta be stubborn. Jump up on top and boost over. And now that we haven't properly left it, we can still control the bots. I don't think we're going to need him anymore, so we can just leave him down here. And we're going to run all these back up to number one. And we're just going to drop him there and make a staircase. That should work. And there we go. 5 of 10. We're halfway done now. And then we just need to run around and grab one of these boxes. And we're going to go up on top of the roof and jump down into puzzle number 2 from the top. Let's just leap down into here. Free our bot. And just go right to the end. I wonder... <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, boxes are a hot commodity in this area. They usually are. Boxes are, like, by far the most useful things. So we do not want to leave it. So what we're going to do is just pretty much the same trick we've been doing before. Just jump right up and over, and take the box with us. But I don't Just like that. How our could and the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go and get the platform over here. We're going to jump into the eastern lost puzzle. We're going to have to go all the way around 8 to get into it though, so a little bit of a trek. Alright, I'm just going to hop right on in, and then, um, yes, I remember now, okay. It's been like a week since I actually went through and routed this area, so I actually forgot what to do for a second, but I remembered. Oh, uh, yep, so we just need to grab the platform, hop on there. Get our bot from around the corner. I don't think we need the connector in this one. And then, surprise, surprise, we're just gonna boost right to the end. Just like that. And this puzzle does have a cube, so of course we will be taking it with us. We've got, what is that, four cubes outside now? Right over the screen. Just like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and leave this by number eight for later. Right there. I believe six is next. Okay, so I'm not going to need this, but we will need to pick it up later. So we're just going to leave it right there. And we're going to control our other bot and get this box through the shield. 
And then right here, so these models right here um, have a little corner on each side that you can jump on. And we can use that to get up and out of the puzzle. Yep, just like that. And then... Don't remember if I want to bring the cube with me or... No, I don't think I do. I think I need to grab some other things. Uh, do we just solve? No, we do take the cube. Need to grab it when we're on this part. Just like... Oop. Just like that. And we're just going to drop it right there for him. We can jump right over the end. Alright, now with that done, let's uh, give the cube back. And drop it right outside. Um, that's a problem. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, I can at least get the driller. That connector is going to be another issue, though. Okay. We're going to come back later for that. Hopefully we won't need it. We do need that connector, though. For which we need the box. Um, this could be an issue. Forgot to grab that connector before I dropped the box out. Um, bear with me. I'm going to do some triage. Okay, hopefully I can get back into the puzzle using these three cubes. Uh, that's not gonna work. I don't think I'll be able to make it if I, if I try to do this. Mm, maybe. No, not like that. How about... Ooh, I think I have it. Just drop three of them here. Ooh, maybe not even three. Yeah, there we go. Okay, crisis averted. Now I want to... Yeah. Let's leave that here and grab this connector. You. Oh yeah. Let's fix him. You. Hold that connector for me. And then you. Should be able to get back there to grab that now. Yes, okay. We just need to make sure we don't step over this edge to uh, deactivate this bot before we've gotten these items out. So you... Oh yeah, you can just grab it from him. We'll just leave that right up there. And then we also need the box. There we go. That way we can get this other connector. And last but not least, bring the box out. Alright, so grand total for this puzzle is two connectors, one jammer, and one box. Did not mean to do that. Can I have you hold that for me, please? And we'll just go back around. Yeah, I legitimately panicked there for a couple of minutes, because I didn't know if I'd have to redo this whole thing or not. But we figured it out. And there we go. So just leave that there. Along with both connectors. Alright, so I'm going to bring a connector over to 7. 
Uh, let me go ahead and do a little bit of item moving. We've got a whole bunch of items we need to move around, so just give me a couple minutes here. Now that 1k and I are both thoroughly out of breath, um, we just have one last item to grab, and then everything will be in place for the final act. Uh, do you remember that jammer that we left way over on the west side? Well, we're gonna go get that now. I swear, like, 20% of this video has just been running back and forth. So anyway, now that we've got this over here, we just want to jam that gate right there. It doesn't matter that it's behind this uh, wall here, it's still going to work. So with that out of the way, now we can head up to 7 and finish that one. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to get this. I'm just going to go ahead and get that connector on top of here. And then we just want to connect it up to that right there. And then if we get ourselves right up to the edge, we should be able to connect way down here to that laser right there. And then all that's left is to just put this on the platform. And there we go. And that's red laser done. Now we just need to do the blue laser. Now if you were observant, you may have noticed that we actually put some items back behind the gold puzzle. I don't think we've dealt with gold puzzles at all in this series yet, but this will be the first one. We're not going to solve it. We can't even solve it because the pedestal doesn't activate until the gold doors have actually opened. But we will be borrowing it for something. We're just going to come around the back side here. And we do need the driller not to drill anything, but just to trade for another item inside there. So it's just... It's a little tricky, but there we go. It's not too hard. We're just going to jump around inside. See, we can't even control him because there isn't even a legitimate way to enter this puzzle yet because that's blocking the entrance screen. So we're just going to take the driller with us. There we go. We're going to use that to get this box free. You were a good friend, driller, but it's time we part ways. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um... Hopefully I did not screw anything up here. 
I need to get that other box out. No, I didn't. No, okay, we're good. No. Forgot I can just do that. Let me go grab that other box real quick. There we go. And then with that other box there, we can free up the connector. We're just going to bring it up onto the roof. box with us as well. I keep forgetting to grab it when I'm right here. There we go. Now I need to sprint jump for that one. I'm using the box we can get up on top of that uh, surface. And we're gonna bring it all the way around here. And we're just going to connect that laser and leave it right about there. And then all that's left is to grab our box. There we go. Every time I do, some, do something slightly wrong, I panic for a second because I think I've soft-locked myself, but thankfully we haven't actually done that yet. So now that this box is free, we're just going to go put it back by 8 with all the other boxes. You can see the uh, game is getting quite laggy. I don't know how well that's going to come through on video, but the game apparently just does not like rendering these boxes. And if you have more than like one or two in the same scene together, they really start balking down the game. Okay, so let's head over here and finish up 7 now. And from here, we should have a vantage point to connect to that blue laser. Yep, just like that. And then all that's left is to connect it to the one inside the puzzle. There we go. One more puzzle left. I am so glad I'm not in charge of solving these. Okay, so now that we don't need these blue ones anymore, we're going to be taking them, or using them right here. Um, yes, we need to connect this source over to 8 now. Just gonna want to leave this right about here. And then we'll put one of these outside the gate, connected to the red. And then one more up here on this mountaintop. Right about there should do it. Okay. Let's head on to eight and finish this area up. Alright, so with five boxes, that lets us get four into the puzzle. Oh, you know what? I need a connector. Um, let's go get this one up on top of number three. And then we also need to switch the jammer from that gate to that gate right there. So let's start dropping these items in here. Need to get these boxes just a little bit closer. Okay. There's one. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Got a little bit too close and got stung. So we're just going to start a little stack right there. So there's one, two, three, then we can jump in here and grab our fourth. 
All right, now let's start putting the boxes in their places. Need one right there. One right here. One right there. We're going to go put our connector on the right side as well. And last but not least, number four. And we're just going to start dropping these in one by one. There's number one. There's number two. And number three. Oop. All right. All of the pieces are in their final place. Oh yeah, let's actually fix that bot. And here we go. Probably the easiest and fastest this puzzle has ever been solved. there. Might need to adjust the angle a little bit to let it connect. Yep, there we go. We also need to connect it to that. And we'll just take this last connector for that. There we go. That's all ten puzzles out of the way. So next let's go ahead and get the sparks done. So the first one is right up on top of that platform right there. So we're just going to have to get up there and drop down. And the next one is at the end of this path that goes all the way around behind the gold puzzle. And here it is. All right, with those done, let's go ahead and do the Easter eggs. So the first one is going to be way down here on the coast. Interestingly, um, I didn't think you could actually get down to the coast the first time I was in this area. I just thought there was a little, like, kill area if you got too far down the cliff. But it does let you go down there and explore the entirety of the island. And they actually have, uh, there's four or five little uh, fans on platforms down there. So if you want to get back up to the... Um, play area quickly, you can just jump on a fan. And here we are at our first Easter egg. Just a couple of little rubber ducks in the water. Alright, so we're just going to head back up. I think we're going to run over and take the fan up. It's probably the fastest way to do it. And here we are at one of the fans. This is going to be a wild ride. Whee! Bam! There's another one of those monuments. And our next Easter egg is going to be right on the left side of number seven here. And it is our first set of snowmen. We will be seeing some of these later. Um, but these are the first ones that we've encountered so far. Obviously, they only show up in the snowy areas. And then after this, we're going to go over and see the uh, lost... I don't really know what to call them still. The purple holograms that don't do anything when you get near them. And they're going to be right on the other side of the path leading to six over here. There it is, you can see it right down there. And once we approach it and look up, we're going to see some familiar shapes. There we go. And then after that, we're going to head over... Back to puzzle number one. But we are going to need a cube for it, so I'm going to stop by eight real quick. Thankfully, thankfully, we left ourselves a cube outside there for this occasion. Makes things just a little bit easier. 
Uh, wouldn't be a Let's Break episode if there weren't lasers haphazardly flying through the air like that. Okay, so with this box in hand, we're just going to run up over here. We're just going to get up here the same way we did when we broke puzzle number two. And right around on the other side of the wall here in a little nook is going to be a button connected to some speakers. And every time you step on the button, it plays a different sound effect. I really like that. It's really fun to play with. Alright. With that out of the way, we're going to go get our next one, which is way on the end of this big structure, um, right behind puzzle number one. And to get up there, we just need to put a box, kind of like that. But it's got to be kind of resting on that ledge so we can jump up on the raised edge. Oop, had it for a second there. I wonder if I can use my body to stop it from sliding off. No, that doesn't appear to be working. There we go. That'll work. And from here we can just jump over here, follow this all the way around. Unfortunately, these uh, cables are not solid. I was really hoping I could, like, climb all the way up to the top of the tower on these, but unfortunately not. You just fall right through them. Alright, so here's a star. These are the same as the stars that you could find in the first Talos Principle. They're kind of like extra collectibles um, that unlocked the secret endings, I think. I don't remember for sure. But anyway... Now we're just going to take a flying leap of faith. I wonder if this is like the highest fall in the game. That's got to be, right? Can't think of anything else that would be taller than that. So then right on over here, we're going to find our next Easter egg. And it's a guitar. I believe this is a reference to Sirius Sam's Siberian Mayhem. I think there was like a musician character in that game that had a guitar. Alright, and for the next Easter egg, we're just going to run right along the coast here for a couple of minutes. Alright, right on the back side of this, there's a pink bench. Uh, nobody really knows the significance of this yet. The bench did exist before the Easter egg update, but it was just a regular color. Um, the Easter egg update made it pink. We don't really know what's up with that. Maybe somebody just having a laugh. Uh, interestingly enough, out of all four fans that are down near the coast, this is the only one that you can actually detach. Um, but nobody's found a reason for that. So, it is a mystery. Alright, so we're done on the coast, so let's just go back up here. And I believe the last two Easter eggs that we have are both up. Oh, actually we only have one Easter egg left, and it's the kitty face, of course, because there's one in every area, it seems. So let's just uh, run over to the tower and grab that in photo mode. Okay, so we just have to stand way up here in the corner, like the very far corner, and then go into photo mode. 
Oh, that's interesting. We can just go right through this. I didn't expect to be able to do that. Interesting. Does it let us get out of the wall, though? No, it does not. Okay. So let's do that instead. Oh, there we go. Ooh, the lighting is all... Okay, there we go. I was going to say the lighting is all broken. Let's just make our camera faster here. And right around up on top here. It's very well hidden. As these cat faces always are. There it is. Just like that. This one is like right at the limits of where you can get with photo mode. That seems to be a uh, running theme with these cat faces. They're very well hidden and they're right at the edge of where you can get your camera. Alright, and with that out of the way, let's go ahead and just get the tower done real quick. All right, and as we enter a new area, let's go ahead and finish this episode up. Uh, this one has been by far the most amount of work of any episode I've done so far. I think even before editing, we're already up to like 15 plus hours, and that's like more than all the other episodes put together. It's crazy. I don't know if it's because I'm just getting better at finding creative solutions, or maybe Crow Team is just getting better at thwarting me. Uh, but either way, join me next time as we tackle North 2, the Flooded Valley. And until next time, peace. So we're just going to kind of just hang over the edge here, and then we can reach this. And we're going to grab the box first, just because it is hilarious that you can do this, because this is not supposed to be possible in the game. If you try to put uh, anything like that on a fan, it just gets knocked off to the side. So I love this visual here.